Assalamu alaikum. My name is Karina. Uh, I'm the head pharmacist at Dubai Herbal and Treatment Center. This is one of the seven part series I will be sharing with you during the first seven days in Ramadan. Uh, I will try to explain some tips and advices how to benefit the most out of Ramadan and how to maintain a healthy Ramadan. Today I will be speaking about iftar. Uh, after uh, fasting all the day, our body is uh, slow in its metabolism, in its digestion, so we need to take it slowly. Uh, please break your fast uh, by dates, a uh, few dates and water, because this uh, replenishes the body and, uh, re you know, like uh, make it recover from the symptoms uh, like uh, energy depletion or uh, hypoglycemia symptoms are combined with, uh, you know, like fasting. Uh, take it slowly. You can go to pray uh, and come back and uh, you can eat your soup, uh, which will prepare uh, your stomach uh, and release some, uh, you know, acids uh, to, to help you to, to digest your main meal. You can again give another gap, maybe go to, you know, walk to Tarawih, which also will make you benefit from the exercise and come back and eat your healthy uh, dinner that contains your carbohydrate, uh, carbohydrates and proteins. Uh, please avoid uh, a lot of uh, tea, especially after uh, iftar, because uh, it contains uh, some ingredients that uh, might delay digestion and cause some constipation as well. And please control uh, the salt uh, because you are dehydrated and that means that you cannot uh, get rid of a lot of from the salt. Uh, avoid the fatty food uh, because the uh, body is uh, dehydrated and that uh, means uh, that it can be condensed uh, in the arteries and capillaries and cause serious problems.